Well, welcome and first of all, thank you for choosing to attend our session. I am Susan Lesser and I am the Director of Nutrition Communication at Gelita and I will take you through our latest innovation in sports nutrition, which is all about the focus on the white connective tissue in sports. Some very brief words about Gelita. This is our headquarters in Eberbach, Germany. Gelita remains an independent, privately owned company. We are experts in the science and manufacturing of collagen for nearly 150 years now, and our presence is global, both in sales and in manufacturing. There are numerous applications for collagen across very diverse industries, but for health and nutrition, we focus on offering bioactive collagen peptide solution, and this is our range of specific products. We are leaders in beauty with Verisol, uh, leaders in joint health with Fortigel, and most recently, sports nutrition with Tendo Forte, which is the product that I will focus today. Tendoforte is the product uh, in the Gelita range of bioactive collagen peptides that is, the, that is leading our presence in sports nutrition. And as you can see here, uh, there is surely an important role for bioactive collagen peptides to support many important needs of sports people, but mainly their ability to train harder and to stay injury free. And this is where the emerging white connective tissue comes into play. So during this webinar, you will understand this new sports nutrition category driver, which is the white connective tissue. You will be able to differentiate generic collagen hydrolysates from bioactive collagen peptides. We will also have a look into the specific science and the real life experience of athletes that uh, Gelita has developed. And finally, we will take away um, some several ideas for your finished product uh, concepts. So what is the white tissue? Uh, we want to introduce the concept of the white tissue as a crucial player in muscle performance and health. The success of supplementing protein in sports has been, as we all know, very much about muscle growth, but we want to call special attention to the fact that muscles do not exist on their own. The whole muscle skeletal system is connected and protected by its network of connective tissue that is largely represented by the muscle fascia, tendons, ligaments, cartilage, bone, even also the skin. And this is all known as the white connective tissue that we can see here in the left picture, the white tissue working together with all the muscles in the body, for example. And this network is formed mainly by the body's most abundant protein, which is collagen. So the opportunity we see to communicate this in sports is that most people don't think about the white tissue until it hurts. And good examples of this are um, that I think that resonates with everybody actually are back pain, IT band issues, Achilles tendon pain, ankle sprains, plantar fasciitis, for example, patella tendon pain, ACL tears that we see a lot in sports. These are all manifestations directly related actually to the stress of the white connective tissue. Like with muscles, Remodeling the white tissue by providing the right exercise and the right protein nutrition is essential for a fully effective muscle function because the muscles, as the picture here shows, are made primarily of contractile material, which is the red tissue that we can see here. So it's no surprise that most of the existing science and nutrition solutions have so far focused on the contractile properties or the red part of the muscles. But the muscles are different from many other tissues in the way that its contractile fibers are enclosed in layers of collagen rich connective tissue, um, which is also called the muscle fascia. And here in the picture, we see that as the mesiums like endomesium, perimesium, and so on. 
And the fascia um, is as a skin-like casing that besides organizing the muscle fibers, it also influences its function. So what the fascia does is to transmit the muscle contraction to the joints, engaging the muscles with the tendons, ligaments, bones, and the whole joint unit, which are the various other parts that are also made of connective tissue. So to transform this muscle work into effective movement. So the message we want to emphasize here is that muscles are therefore much beyond red tissue. Muscles are this remarkably effective combination of its red contractile material with the white tissue network. And of course, that also includes blood vessels and the nerves. Um, in a way that all these collagen rich tissues also strongly contribute to potentiate muscle function, muscle growth and performance, not only the red muscle tissue. And today we know with great confidence that the white tissue is dynamic. It actually shows a much greater protein synthesis and breakdown than generally believed. And we like to show this study of Smith et al. because this is the latest to confirm that the basal protein turnover of the different white tissues in the body are all within the same range of that of skeletal muscle in a range of 1 to 2 percent per 24 hours, which is therefore pretty high. And what is interesting is that if we look closer into the details about the turnover rates here, we actually see that the turnover of the anterior uh, crucial ligament and of the patella tendon are actually shown higher than that of the muscle here shown as the, the top one, the vastus lateralis. So it's a high turnover that we can see here um, with the connective tissue as well. And collagen, which is the most abundant protein in this white tissue, is remarkably rich in the amino acids, proline and glycine. And here we look at the nutritional sources. So here we have a comparison of the amino acid composition for a wide range of common dietary protein sources and also for the human muscle and the human collagen. And we can see the glycine and proline represent around 50% of all the amino acids in collagen, both in the body and in the peptide ingredients. And this, as you can see comparatively uh, here, is a, is a high proportion not seen in any other protein sources. So you can see that collagen is quite um, a unique protein. It's different from all other protein sources. And we can actually say that collagen is an exception to the rules of protein because of this unique composition of glycine and proline. So this picture shows just from a nutrition, from an amino acid composition perspective, but besides nutrition, these amino acid differences will also influence on the shape, on the stability, on the bioactive function of the collagen in the body. So it's much beyond nutrition. And back to the differences between red and white tissue, here shown as the red dots, human muscle uh, in the left and the human collagen on the right, we can see that these tissues are fundamentally different even contrasting in the composition of amino acids, but the synergy between them is essential for a fully effective muscle function because these are highly integrated, as we have seen in the previous slides, uh, interconnected systems. So protein nutrition should likewise look at the needs of the white tissue uh, rich in collagen. Now let's go to the shelves, the products on the year shelves. So we can see out there that not all collagens are created equal. We get the message from the industry as well. So let's have a brief look at the main differences between generic collagen hydrolysates and uh, bioactive collagen peptides. Based on our many years of collagen research at Gelita, we can show that bioactive collagen peptides in our range in particular, uh, we call it collagen at its full potential because, because we show the most optimal effect that collagen can give to our knowledge. And the main differences are one, the controls of the hydrolysis process that we apply and this controls for um, pool of enzymes, temperature, pH, they result in specific, well-characterized bioactive collagen peptides, 
of consistent molecular weight profile of peptides. Two, the second difference is the science, of course. Preclinical trials and mainly gold standard human studies like RCT studies are able to consistently show significantly positive targeted endpoint benefits. And third and last is the dose. We are able to define an effective dose, which is then relatively much lower than those consumed as a source of protein, such as, for example, 5 grams for a bioactive collagen peptides instead of a 20 grams of whole protein, because the active peptide, the bioactive substance, is always there in the product as a consequence of the controlled process. So bioactive collagen peptides are very specific, well-characterized products, fully substantiated by science to give a final desired endpoint benefit, while as the hydrolyzed collagens and gelatin in general are products that have been hydrolyzed mainly for a technical food application purpose. So they perform very well as protein enrichment, but they don't necessarily give the endpoint health benefit. And this is our Gelita range of bioactive collagen peptides. Currently, we have five products in this range, and each product here will have their own target health benefit for the white connective tissue. And the ability of each product to deliver the specific health benefit is related to the profile of peptides, here shown as the molecular weight distribution profile, uh, which is particular to each product, as you can see. So what is important here is that by being so specific, we are able to deliver the benefits at a relatively low dose, as I said in the previous slide. Um, but this is also important for a successful finished product application, such as when you put in a bar or in a drink. It is important for consumer compliance with taking the product regularly the cost of the product because it's less material that you are using, and ultimately um, the varied numbers of concepts that our customers can create, which are backed up by the specific science we have to substantiate each product here and their claims. There are lots more to say about these specific molecular weight differences, and uh, if you want to know more, please I encourage you to contact us during the Vita Foods show. Uh, for more details on this. And briefly about the mode of action of the bioactive collagen peptides, because this is a question that we get very frequently. So the portfolio of products is segmented according to the optimal bioactivity, as I said earlier, which happens when a matching peptide um, it stimulates a target connective tissue cell. And we show here the three main groups of highly specialized connective tissue cells in the body, the fibroblasts, the chondrocytes, and the osteoclasts found in the skin, tendons and ligaments, chondrocytes found in the joints, and osteoclasts found, uh, and osteoblasts found um, in the bone. So what we have found in our preclinical trials is that each of these cells will better recognize, will have a higher affinity for its matching bioactive collagen peptide in the range because of the molecular weight distribution of the peptide. So we compare this to something like a docking station, something like a lock and key fit uh, between the bioactive peptide, molecular weight profile, and the cell receptor, which results in a higher stimulation of the, of the metabolism of this cell to produce the new extracellular matrix proteins, including collagen, for the tissue renewal and constant repair. So the mode of action of the bioactive collagen peptides is a very specific cell signaling effect, therefore. Yeah, and it is potentiated by the best matching molecular weight distribution profile of the peptides in each product. So again, if you would like to better understand the mode of action and the kinetics uh, of the bioactive collagen peptides, this is the topic for a whole new talk. So please contact us to know more during the show. And now let's talk about how we brought the white tissue concept to life into a product, uh, which is the Tendoforte bioactive collagen peptide, which is our first dedicated launch 
um, into sports nutrition. Tendoforte was launched two years ago and actually was launched at Vita Foods two years ago. Uh, and today we have a number, uh, two years later, we have a number of uh, products launched already and actually in all markets uh, globally. We were the winners of the Nutri Ingredients Awards back in May. Uh, and the Nutri Ingredients Awards, which normally happens in association with Vita Foods with this event, and we were voted the best sports nutrition ingredient of the year based on the judges appreciating that Tendo Forte is a truly unique innovation for the market uh, with benefits for everybody from the everyday active consumer to the elite athletes. Um, the tender photo product is positioned um, for strong tendons and ligaments in sports. Tender photo is backed up by two published peer review studies so far, um, which I will show you later. And it has been developed with a number of elite um, athletes in the field. So let's have a quick look uh, through that. It is very important for Zelita to demonstrate case studies like these in elite athletes um, when we develop our products. And this is to help us to develop, um, to then develop an evidence base uh, for interventions. We know that clinical trials are extremely difficult to perform in elite athletes like this, and no athlete here would want to be in the placebo group if there is the potential benefit to be in an intervention group, or they don't want to change that, that training to take part in a study, for example. So this combined with the fact that the time course and pathology of the same injuries and etc. will vary significantly from athlete to athlete, we then decide to do these case studies too. They add a lot of value. So we develop our products with elite athletes in the field too. And here we show the athletes that have contributed significantly with their positive experiences and insights uh, to help us develop uh, Tendo Forte. Um, as you can see, these are three key examples uh, where they have reported increased performance. They have reported ease of use of the product which is very important for their long-term compliance with using the product and also their confidence uh, by using the product and, and feeling that they are protected from injuries that increase their confidence to perform and feel protected, which is very important too. So just to give you some three examples, but again, we have many more. So. The concept of Tendo Forte is that every sport requires a degree of strength, power and speed, relying a lot on, on the intact composition of the collagen matrix proteins in, in the white tissue and here in this case, the tendons and ligaments. And the science behind Tendo Forte simply demonstrate that the product can attend to the needs of both performance and active nutrition consumers. For performance athletes, they keep these athletes in training and performing, or uh, for the active nutrition consumers, they support these newcomers in building up fitness safely, protecting tendons and ligaments from injuries, which would otherwise surely hurt their motivation to get fitter and healthier. These are the two studies published with Tendo Forte, and I will briefly go through each one of them. The first study was done by the renowned Australian Institute of Sport, and it looked into the benefits of Tendo Forte over a period of six months in a crossover design. So the participants here were 20 quite unique runners. They were unique because they have been experiencing long-term symptoms of chronic Achilles tendinopathy, and they were at that time unable to run. So they were not responding to rest, physiotherapy, or any other traditional treatment to their condition. So in this design, half of the runners supplemented with Tendo Forte for the first three months, while the others were on the placebo group. Um, and at three months, halfway point, the groups were switched so that those who were supplementing went on placebo and vice versa. So in total, 12 out of 18 participants who finished the study uh, recovered, but 
1040 recovered twice as many participants compared to placebo. So we had eight recoveries for 1040 and um, four recoveries for placebo. And all this, of course, in combination with a rehab exercise program. In our second study, we looked in, into 50 participants with chronic ankle instability. This was a placebo controlled randomized trial like a gold standard study and the participants used five grams of tender 40 or placebo for six months. And what we saw, we saw that those who supplemented with tender 40 showed significant improvements in ankle stability and they also reduced the incidence of ankle sprains. We also saw that the benefits of the supplementation were long term because three months after we stopped the supplementation, those who had taken tender fortish uh, showed a significantly reduced incidence of ankle injuries compared to the placebo group. And finally, to bring this all into vibrant and tasting products, I'll briefly show some concepts which we have developed with our partners. For example, bone broth. Um, collagen is the main protein in bone broth, but we know from science that if you want to get therapeutical doses of collagen peptides, it is best to obtain from supplementation because bone broth have so many different recipes, ways of cooking, uh, so that the profile of amino acids and peptides in these products cannot be guaranteed, uh, cannot be guaranteed to be effective. Um, so what we have done here is that we developed the bone broth with bioactive collagen peptides in the mix. So here we show a concept that delivers a significant amount of tendon forte for stronger tendons and ligaments. When people think bone broth, they think collagen. So it's a great combination. is a is a hot meal. It's a very nice concept that we have developed with our partners. Here, uh, the attention to the connective tissue in yoga, Pilates is also growing both for wellness, uh, active nutrition, but also sought after by athletes for better recovery and focus on their sports, avoiding injuries. And a lot of white tissue adaptation goes into yoga and Pilates. And here is a very nice fruity concept for these consumers, which also combines beauty as we add our ingredient, Verisol, our leader ingredient in beauty too. So we have many other examples. So uh, please contact us at Jelita if you would like to know more about these recipes, try these products. And if you want to work with us on this concept to bring Tender Forte into a portfolio, please uh, definitely contact us. Thank you very much for staying with me until the end. And I hope you are enjoying your Vita Foods experience, virtual experience. And I invite you to contact us if you want to know more details about the bioactive collagen peptides, application, concepts. And I look forward to speaking to you soon during the event. Otherwise, enjoy the show. Thank you.